हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर नरेश तांबे दिस इज द क्लास फॉर टी वाई बी ए साइकोलॉजी स्टूडेंट यू हैव चैप्टर कॉल्ड मेजर्स ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी इन पेपर फोर द सब्जेक्ट नेम इज टेस्टिंग एंड स्टैटिस्टिक्स पेपर फोर इन विच यू हैव टू स्टडी मेजर्स ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी इट्स स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड द थियरी पार्ट ऑफ द स्टैटिस्टिक्स यू कैन लर्न फ्रॉम योर बुक but technical thing is how to calculate mean median and mode that i'm going to teach you now okay so today we can start directly how to calculate mean median and mode let's go to the next slide hmm. now here how to calculate mean i have shown here you can see this uh, see when data when you get data this way just a minute hmm. when you get data this way like you can see uh, when data a small data given in a small series so how to calculate mean very simple method is there mean this is the x bar is a sign of mean x bar it is called x bar the formula to calculate mean is x bar is equal to summation x upon n now summation x means what the number this values is given here in this series you have to add all these numbers and divided by n means how many values are there 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so 6 n is 6 okay so summation of all these numbers uh, divided by n so summation agar karenge so it comes 30 and this all total numbers is 6 so divided by n means 6 30 divided by 6 so if you divide it answer come 5 so mean of the given score is 5 now this is a simple way of calculating the mean okay but when but when data is a huge data people give huge data so then uh, it we have to form it in a group manner so when data we get in a group manner this way then how to calculate mean there is another method okay now let's focus on this uh, when in exam uh, you get this, this kind of question you get only these two column ci ci means class interval and frequency f okay this two columns only you get in exam now then to calculate mean of such kind of given data uh, we have to make another two column one is x or we can call it as midpoint and another is fx okay now how to calculate midpoint or x let me tell you okay now we have this column ci column we are having and frequency column we are having okay now we have to calculate midpoint of each of this so uh, let's see the uh, mid midpoint of first row it is uh, 40 to 41 now 40 to 41 ka midpoint is for 40.5 now how it is 40.5 simply uh, what we can do is we can add 40 plus 41 Listen carefully. 40 plus 41 divided by 2. अगर करते हैं तो you can get this value 40.5. Okay. So this we can write directly also like this is what 38 and 39. So what is the midpoint is 38.5. But if you are not sure, then you can simply calculate. You can add both this number 38 30 plus 39, and you can do divided by 2. So you'll get same value. So this way we can make the midpoint. Okay, and then what is then next column is we have to make f x. Now how to calculate f x? Simple, that you have to multiply f and x. So 4 into 40.5. If you calculate this multiplication, you will get this value. Again, 5 plus 38.5, you will get this value. Similarly, you have to calculate frequency and midpoint. You have to do the multiplication of these values. You will get these values. now what you have to make you have to add all this values together it is called summation fx so if you do addition summation of all these values you will get this value is called summation fx now we have made midpoint and then we have made fx okay now now what is the uh, answer now see how what is the formula what is the formula of calculating mean when data is given in a group form so simple for so this is uh, formula is x bar x bar means mean of course x bar is equal to summation fx divided by n now summation fx we have got here okay so we have put the value here summation fx and divided by n we already here calculated here it is 55 55 
so we are writing 55 here so when you do this uh, div uh, when we do this sum when we calculate this hmm, divided by jab karte hai to you get this value that is 33.846 so this way we can calculate mean okay thank you